Hello, in today's episode we will talk about Dilophosaurus. If you are enjoying our content, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click the bell to be notified about our future releases. You can also support us with YouTube Premium Membership, which will grant you benefits, such as viewing our videos early, loyalty badges, and access to supporter-only polls. We also have mobile games, available both on Play Store and App Store, which will be linked in description. Dilophosaurus is a genus of theropod dinosaurs that lived in what is now North America during the early Jurassic, about 193 million years ago. The genus name means two-crested lizard. At first it was assigned to a new genus called Megalosaurus, however after discovery of another skeleton bearing crest on the skull, it was reassigned as Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus would have been active and bipedal, and may have hunted large animals, it could also have fed on smaller animals and fish. Due to the limited range of movement and shortness of the forelimbs, the mouth may instead have made first contact with prey. The holotype specimen, had multiple paleopathologies, including healed injuries and signs of a developmental anomaly. Dilophosaurus was one of the earliest large predatory dinosaurs and the largest known land animal in North America at the time. It was slender and lightly built, and the skull was proportionally large, but delicate. It was about 7 meters long, with weight of about 400 kilograms. This means, Dilophosaurus was as long as largest of the great white sharks. The snout was narrow, and the upper jaw had a gap or kink below the nostril. It had a pair of longitudinal, arched crests on its skull, their complete shape is unknown, but they were probably enlarged by keratin. The teeth were long, curved, thin, and compressed sideways. Those in the lower jaw were much smaller than those of the upper jaw. Most of the teeth had serrations at their front and back edges. The neck was long, and its vertebrae were hollow, and very light. The arms were powerful, with a long and slender upper arm bone. The thigh bone was massive, the feet were stout, and the toes bore large claws. First fossils were discovered in 1914 northern Arizona, near Tuba City, in the Navajo Indian Reservation. Discovery consisted of three skeletons, two of which were collected, and the most complete became holotype. The first was nearly complete, lacking only the front of the skull, parts of the pelvis, and some vertebrae. The second was very eroded, included the front of the skull, lower jaws, some vertebrae, limb bones, and an articulated hand. The third was so eroded that it consisted only of vertebral fragments. In 1964 another skeleton was discovered 400 meters south of where first skeletons had been found. It was larger than other skeletons and was first one with preserved crest. In 1978 the youngest example of the genus was found in the Rockhead Quadrangle, which is about 190 kilometers away from the site of first discovery. Dilophosaurus is believed to be more of a scavenger, rather than active predator. It is due to belief, that it did not have a powerful bite, and front teeth were used more for plucking and tearing meat, rather than offensive weapons. Even if Dilophosaurus was a predator, it is more likely that it killed its prey using legs or hands, rather than its jaws. However some believe that it was able to hunt large prey, and that it was strong enough to attack early Jurassic herbivores. After studying the skeleton, scientists suggested that Dilophosaurus might have eaten fish. They pointed out that the ends of the jaws were expanded to the sides, forming a rosette of interlocking teeth, similar to those of Spinosaurids, known to have eaten fish. The nasal openings were also retracted back on the jaws, similar to Spinosaurids, which have even more retracted nasal openings. Paleontologists conceded that suggestions as to the function of the crests of Dilophosaurus were conjectural, but thought that, though the crests had no grooves to indicate vascularization, they could have been used for thermoregulation. 
He also suggested they could have been used for species recognition, or ornamentation. Others pointed out that the crests could not have been used during battle, as their delicate structure would have been easily damaged. They suggested that they were a visual display for attracting a mate, and even thermoregulation. In 1990, paleontologist stated that the crests may have been enhanced by colors for use in display. Due to popularity of movie Jurassic Park, many false information are spread about Dilophosaurus. In movie it was portrayed as 1.2 meter tall dinosaur, that could spit venom. While it was possible that Dilophosaurus bite was venomous, like a Komodo dragon, however there is no proof that it was able to spit venom. Also the neck frill that it was portrayed with, is a fiction, because if Dilophosaurus had such feature, there would have been at least, traces of it in the found fossils. Also that if it did have a frill, it would not have used it to intimidate its meal, but rather a competitor.